What's up, guys? We're super excited for today's suggestion because it's a band that we find very intriguing yet pretty mystical. They definitely have a cool, cool sound. Yeah, for sure. But if you're new here, you're at Rob Squad Reactions with your girl Amber. And your boy Jay. And today we're listening to Sticks, and the song we're checking out is called Boat on the River. Obviously, we know they have Dennis D. Young and his play, his piano playing ability, but he's got the voice to go with it. Makes Sticks an amazing group. Lady is still probably my oh, favorite. Oh, see, I like Come Sell Away, and I really am also a big fan of mm. Mr. Tommy Shaw as well. Now, I'm excited for this song because we know that the band is named after the River of Sticks, which is the river yeah, cool between the right underworld here. and Earth, right? And this song is called Boat on the River, so I'm wondering if we're ever going to have a clash. Getting like, kind of a little of a correlation I wonder, going on here. I wonder. That's what no. I, that's, I love Greek mythology, so that'd be cool. The meaning of their name is super, super yeah. sick. But we are ready to get into Sticks Boat on the River. If you are new, don't forget to help us out by liking this video, hitting that subscribe button down below, and turning on your post notification bell so you never miss a video because we don't post just once or twice a day. We post Three, you guys. every single day. It's like a box of chocolates, like Forrest said. You never know what in the world you will get day to day, but you got a good one today with the sticks. Let's check them out. That sounds like a bow horn. This gives me like medieval vibes. Yes, like, but the, does does it not? And uh, Mr. Shaw, this guy who's singing, he's got such softness and gentle, but the clarity. I feel of like his, his voice. I feel like his voice kind of gives you the medieval vibes and the way he's also telling the story. Mm -hmm. But my man Dennis Day Young, is there anything he can't do? On the accordion. I'm really. saying, and he comes in just so smooth, and it's so beautiful. He always catches my attention. I don't know. He's super intriguing, but also I really like this the vibe of this song. It, like when he talked about like take me to the river where the frown will disappear from my face once I reach like tranquility, just like mm -hmm. wanting like a peaceful moment, nice. like that's cool. And I, you know, water kind of does give you that feeling, that it, peaceful, tranquil moment. And I don't know, is it a mandolin he's playing? But like, it's yeah, it's I definitely given the medieval feel. It's beautiful. I'm glad you picked up on that instrument. Let's get back. <laughs>
was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. really, really good. We talked about how diverse they were and like, look at the instruments. Like, look at that setting. That was really, really cool. But Tommy and Dennis's voice. Together. I didn't realize how well they complimented each other. Because in this one, I feel like they complimented each other so well. It was beautiful. And the, the choice of instruments in this, they could not have picked anything better. There was a bass drum. Uh, there was the bass in which he was he was using the violin. I don't know mm -hmm. exactly what y'all call it, violin string at first, and then the mandolin, and then of course the accordion, which that is was so, so, so cool. We don't, you get, don't get, we, get that a lot. So say, I don't know how many times we've ever got accordion in a song since we started this channel, but it was really cool to see it brought in. And who else to do it besides Dennis Dio? And we know? knew he was a multi instrument. Mm. Well, how do you say multi instrumentalist? Multi -instrumentalist. <laughs> was it? Is, is that how you say it? But anyways, we know he can play like lots of instruments, but. Uh, now I'm sitting here wondering, like, how many can he play and what can he play? Because that one is very out of left field. Is and, and but he came in and how can you make an accordion look so cool? Like he made it look smooth. The and... whole thing made me feel like I needed to be in the uh, Princess Bride movie uh, in, in, in a tavern. In, in, in the tavern, yep. like Robin Hood tights on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's definitely what it gave me, guys. And I also love the intimate setting. I just I. I really like sticks. Oh, we can't say the sticks. You guys have gotten me oh, my so goodness. many times for that, but I really like sticks just for one of the simple facts I mentioned at the beginning. They are kind of mystical, and this song, I think, fell in line with the vibe that, besides Mr. Roboto, fell in line with the vibe of sticks that we really know. Right, and they, they don't need a whole lot to make an amazing sound, yeah. and they showed us that right here with how simple it was, you know. Like you said, it's kind of the presence. It was them on stage, the light on them, so it was really, really cool. And I like how Tommy and Dennis can go interchange with singing lead vocals, and you love every bit of it no matter what. For sure. Guys, I'm sorry if y'all keep seeing me rubbing my nose. Your boy Jay is a little under the weather today, but y'all know we still give y'all these videos. But as we always send y'all out of here, thank you so, so much. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome y'all to the RSR family, but y'all have a goal every single day, just like we do. Let them know, Mom. Guys, it is actually very, very simple. All you have to do is make somebody smile. We love y'all. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.